You hear it all the time. This character is meta. This team composition is meta. Meta, meta, meta. But sometimes it's hard to even know why some team compositions are meta, let alone what the concept even means. So today, we are covering all things meta. Let's get right into it. Before I go too in depth with the concept of this video, I do want to highlight why this video was being created. A comment on my last video from user Mingo Dynasty, excuse me if I said that wrong, asked for a short and better explanation of things rather than just a tier list every week. While I may have explained some characters and why they are very strong, it is very hard to explain every character and composition within the scope of a video. So thank you to all those who do comment and give me criticism as it in turn makes me look at my content at a different angle which helps me improve. I always appreciate the feedback. Moving on, however, what exactly does the word meta even mean? According to sources from dictionary.com, meta comes from the Greek prefix and preposition meta, which means after or beyond. When combined with words in English, meta often signifies change or alteration as in the words metamorphic or metabolic. However, meta in our case suggests a transcending or overarching meaning. So, meta refers to the best characters to play at any given time due to varying factors in which we will go into shortly. Understand that a meta is not ever defined or 100% correct. This is because a meta is defined by the community and what they deem as the best at the given time with the patch they are given. The best way I picture this is while you'll see Overwatch League teams running different compositions compared to contenders teams. Some strategies may provide more value than others, but are extremely difficult to pull off in a setting where 8 hours of heavy scrims and team practice are not normalized or achievable due to player salary. So what are the basic things that you should be looking for if you are trying to locate a meta? Well, there are three basic compositional ideas that define Overwatch's combat system. There is Dive, Brawl, Death Ball, Rush, whatever you want to call it, and there is Spam. Each composition has something over the other in some capacity. Here is where a meta is created. Brawl succeeds when they can close the distance effectively and force a close range engagement. Spam wins when enough value can be found before the enemy jumps on them. And Dive wins when cooldowns can be easily forced and targets can be bursted down efficiently without intense repercussions. However, here is where things get complicated. With many characters being introduced to the game, hybrid compositions are increasingly viable when their characters are strong. Characters like Sigma and Brigitte are just one of the reasons that these metas come about very frequently. The best way for me to explain this to you is by analyzing the current meta. In this example, we will be using the two groups of two scenario, so a Ball, Sigma, Tracer, McCree, Brig, and Zen. The main idea of this composition is to allow your Zen to rotate with the Brigitte and Sigma into a position that will maintain line of sight with the Ball and Tracer when they engage. This allows for a very strong engagement if pulled off efficiently and correctly. The reason this works, however, is that Sigma is very strong in his ability to switch different playstyles along with a Brigitte. Sigma can rotate and spam while the Ball and Tracer are rolling in, and if value is found, can brawl in a very aggressive way with his kit. You may be wondering then, why don't the enemy just go hard brawl and walk on Sigma? This is a very strong idea, however, with Brigitte, the Sigma will be able to create enough distance so that by the time they do get to him, the team has already done enough poke damage to initiate their own brawl, and with Brigitte's healing and stun capabilities, it will create even more time for the Ball and Tracer to create value. So, the idea with hybrid comps is that with a combination of two or even three of the basic composition structures, you can create more value than just fully committing to one idea. Keep in mind that these metas are objectively more difficult because it takes a lot of patience from the team playing it. So now that I have discussed the different ideas and compositions that create a meta, where are we right now? Right now we are in the midst of the experimental card transitioning to live patch. What is big about this patch is now Sigma Shield has a much longer cooldown and can't be moved around as such. This deteriorates his ability to be utilized in the hybrid meta we are experiencing this month. He cannot switch his playstyle from spam to brawl without being punished. I did like this change though because he can still be viable in double shield spam compositions if played correctly. 
Hence, when a big change happens, new avenues open that were not there before. Right now, I do not have a solid answer for you, but my opinions have already been listed in the video that was released this weekend. Just remember that when looking at these new metas, you always want to start at the foundation, understand what characters are strong, and see what you can do exactly with it. This stage is called theory crafting. Eventually, most teams around the same skill level will begin to find out what works and what doesn't, thus creating the new meta. Always remember though that just because it is meta doesn't mean it's the best, it is just perceived that way by the vast majority, like how quad DPS was perfectly viable within the GOATS era. To bring the video to a close, within the coming weeks I will continue to do tier lists until I feel as though I found the solidified meta. From there I will likely make a scripted video about the composition that is incredibly strong at the time and explain how it is played at my current level of play to the best of my ability, and maybe even give my thoughts on the composition itself. Thanks again for your feedback, and I will try to keep evolving my content for the better. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe as it helps me a ton. Let me know if you learned anything down in the comments below. I do stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 4pm EST, but that may change soon, so be sure to follow my other socials for other updates in the future. But until next time guys, I've got a peace out and paz out, I'll see you in the next one.